Thank you so much to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Squarespace is the all-in-one platform for building your brand and growing your business online. Stand out with a beautiful website, engage with your audience, and sell anything, your products, content you create, and even your time. Utilize Squarespace email campaigns to drive sales and engage your audience. Introduce your brand to new subscribers with welcome emails, announce upcoming sales, or send out a discount code. There are built-in analytics to measure the impact of each send. They have such flexible website templates, it's so easy to get started by choosing a template and then customizing it to look and do whatever it is you need or want. And a huge help is their analytics system. This is where you can gather and use all kinds of insights to aid in helping to grow your business. Head to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you are ready to launch, go to squarespace.com backslash Olivia Reza Latte to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Thank you once again to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video and let's get into it. Hello guys, one second, there we go. Jake is panting in the background, but that's okay because this is a weekly vlog and it wouldn't be that without him. So let's just get right into it. How about that? So I am currently reading The Gilded Cage. I've just gotten home from work and I think I'm on chapter eight. Yes, I'm on chapter eight, so I'm 83 pages into this guy already. And let me leave that open so I can put a bookmark in there. But I am really liking it. That is the sequel to The Prison Healer, which I really, really liked. And yeah, I'm just having a good, a good little time. However, however, bring the Kindle out because we're home now. And honestly, what I want to read is this guy this is one of the two um releases this week that i'm so excited about the other one is obviously powerless no it's not it is hopeless by elsie silver this one is by miss sophie lark i here's the thing i get into two moods where i'm like only want to read epic fantasy and ku sports romances or <laughs> or all i want to read is Red Rising, that's its own mood actually. And then the other one is I only want to read Sophie Lark and Zodiac Academy. I don't know why, when I get stressed in uh, life, all I want to do is read Sophie Lark books because honestly, I don't know, have y'all ever had this where you like an author so much that it makes you like their books even more because I know I've definitely seen people who don't like an author so they don't like their books as much or it does taint it for them and that's not a whole I'm not trying to get down that road of discussion because honestly I have 0.5 brain cells left after work today but <laughs> something like that where I don't know I usually don't know anything about authors I've kind of stopped following them on Instagram I don't really care I only follow the publishing company so I can see when releases are coming out and even then I'm barely keeping up with those I just kind of like to not follow authors or really publishers that much like I don't follow really any imprints I think I just follow like maybe Penguin Random House and like Harper Void you know things like that where it's like the overarching publisher but not like imprints of it if that makes sense there are those few that I do really really love and that one for me honestly I think my favorite KU author of all time is Sophie Lark because she's just so cool 
and awesome and all of her books are just so much fun and this is like something I've really realized about myself this year of reading is I really want to read to just escape as Dory would say like I want to read to decompress and chill out and whatever so you know if that's a thriller Riley Sager's my go-to kind of the only horror I really enjoy anymore is going to be Sylvia Morena Garcia or Grady Hendrix. Those are my two for that category because they're very gothic horror. I really like that. Or Romantical is, it's really, man, the KU authors are just, they're just superior. I don't know what to tell y'all. And Sophie Lark's at the top for me. And then Zodiac Academy, don't judge me. It's just fun. Like it is a mess of a book. Honestly, half the time it doesn't make any sense, but I just love it. I, I love it because it's like a really, really bad, poorly produced CW show that just keeps getting renewed. Any come to mind? <laughs> Actually, I think the one that I'm thinking of just ended. So I'll repeat of that show, but wh wh why was it in the 1950s for a season? I am i don't understand that. So anyways, I really am excited about this book. It is like her little take on a gothic, small town, kind of mystery thriller-esque romance. See, and I also, I'm not a dark romance girly. I love it for y'all that are. Please don't ever take this as me like saying like, ooh, dark romance, definitely not the case. I think it's great if you love it. Um, I'm a, I, I support like pretty much, I support people reading, honestly. And whatever that's gonna be for you, that's great. You only read the dictionary, honestly, kind of a slay. This is the only author really where I'll kind of, I guess like dip my toes into that genre because it's not as intense. Now me and my bestie were talking about reading um, a certain haunting someone book and I kind of looked a little bit further into that, watched a few people's vlogs on that. I will not be partaking actually. I need to send her a voice memo and let her know because I was just like, you know what? Actually, I think I'm good. Like where's my cowboyism? <laughs> Yeehaw, you know? So anywho, there's that little reading update. And then the other two I have is another romance that I'm just gonna keep there. I don't have work tomorrow because I've got an appointment. So I will be reading some more tomorrow and I'm gonna really try my best. I just, man, y'all being off my phone today while at work, I it's just so good. Like I just love not being on my phone. But I have this tendency to doom scroll. Does anyone else do that? Like, you know you're objectively better off not doing it, but it's such a habit. Is it just like it's a habit thing? I don't even know. I've been trying to break that and definitely being somewhere eight hours a day, well, I guess like nine or so, uh, helps out a lot. And then the other one is Body and Soul Food. This is a cute as heck little cozy mystery. I really love this author's Ice Cream Parlor Murder Mystery series. The first one's A Deadly Inside Scoop if you wanna check it out. Very much recommend. The audiobook's great. Um, I'm only like five pages in, but I'm filming a little cozy reading vlog for Patreon for that. And I cooked, well, I didn't cook. I was the sous chef twice removed uh, yesterday to a uh, shepherd's pie vegan edition being made. Although I did sprinkle some cheese on top of mine. Sorry, I am who I am. I don't know what to tell you. So those are the books. And then I actually did last night, last minute finish reading Not not Just Gal Pals. And it was cute. I am not really the girl for Hallmark romances, I've realized. What I like is Hallmark murder. But I don't really love Hallmark romances. And that one had spice. Um, but it was like really, it sounds weird, but it was very skippable and it was very much, a lot of the scenes were fade to black. So it definitely felt more like a Hallmark romance to me, which I like. But also I've realized sometimes if there's not, you know, I really like not thriller romance, what is that called? Suspense, romantical suspense. <laughs> romantical suspense, yes, that's what it is. Put that on a t-shirt. Um, I do enjoy romantical suspense because there's like a plot driving it, you know? And I really, really, really like that. Yeah, I think it's cute. I would recommend if you want the fall vibes. It's honestly perfect for like the last week of October into November because it does also go into a little bit of December too. It's really cute. Uh, I do recommend that you read it. Very nice little palette cleanser of a read. And now I'm kind of ready to get into some murder and questionable relationships and some fantasy. Yes. Yeah. My bookmark fell out, which was um, not really a bookmark. It was just a hope. 
Actually, it was my lens cap. Anyways, these right now are kind of the plan for tonight. I think I'm gonna read some of this, see how we're feeling, and then I'm gonna go into this for the evening. I need to be better about falling asleep tonight, so definitely gonna try to put my phone down on all of that by 8 p.m. That's kind of my goal, but I haven't been doing very good at it. Even though I have tomorrow off, I want to like keep myself on track, you know? And yeah, but right now, I have, I don't know if y'all have tried this brand. It's not vegan, but it is, well, vegetarian, but also these are just like crackers. So I don't really know where I was going with that, but I eat a lot of their, like they have really good mac and cheese and stuff like that. So I'd recommend it, but it's just the Annie's brand. Um, and you can get it literally anywhere, like Central Market, Whole Foods, Target. It's all the places. I think we got ours from like the Amazon Fresh, which is, pretty much the only time we attend Whole Foods, to be honest, because that's the option they give us. But yeah, let me go read, and I'll update you guys on what I'm thinking. And yeah. Oh my God. Sorry, stopping the B-roll to just admit this. This is embarrassing. I can tap on my camera screen to focus if I want. I literally tapped on this to do that. Did y'all see that? Oh my gosh. Anyways, back to the B-roll. Oh, I'm also going to watch Real Housewives of New York. Hee hee hee. We will definitely talk tomorrow about that because I have a lot of feelings about a lot of the people on there. Okay, I just got this um, candle warmer from Amazon and I love it. It just looks like kind of vintage looking, but also I just, I'm preferring um, candle warmers over lighting my candles, honestly, right now. So I'll link it if you want to. I'm experimenting to see like which ones are the best ones because some of them don't work. I've already bought like two flops and they're not even pretty to keep around. So send them back. But this one is good. And then I have another one that I have that's more of like a tall shape. But yeah, I love this. Hello. How are you? Hi. Um, okay. Where am I gonna put you? I guess I'll put you here. Be warned, the ice maker is gonna start making noise because I'm putting some ice in here. Um, y'all, I'm annoyed. <laughs> I'm not in the mood for, okay, one second. I am not in the mood for any of the books that I'm reading, except The Gilded Cage. I'm in the mood for that. So I'm like, I guess in a fantasy mood now all of a sudden, which makes sense. I did read for me quite a few romances back to back. So that makes sense. But, oh my God, I just started the new Sophie Lark and I wanted to finish that. But to be honest, so I really like it. Thank you, Ginger. And I like all the spooky vibes and all of that, but it's definitely, I think my favorite from her are just gonna always be Mafia because I can just get, like, I just, I don't know. Those vibes make sense in my head. I'm like, yes, this is how people would behave if they were indeed in the Mafia, having literally never met anyone that was or is. But this, I believe them. This is true, probably, allegedly. But in here, it's 22% in. And this man's already done some weird things and I'm like, actually, I think I'm busy. Actually, I think I have to hang up. Um, my mom's home. Yeah, I know that I just gave you a sob story that she just passed away and that's part of the reason I'm at this house. But like also, she's calling from beyond the grave. Bye, like, it, I don't know. I'm not loving it <laughs> as far as plot. So I, in the meantime, ooh, I did order some Panera. So I'm gonna get that ready and I'm gonna sit at my little computer desk. This is me typing. I'm not gonna be typing anything, but that's me typing. And I'm going to put you in a shelf where it's super dark, but don't worry about that. Uh, I'm going to watch a YouTube video that I just found. Why is that so hard for me? To <laughs> I'm like, get the medication, get the fish oil pill. Think of words no longer. Like, what am I doing? Uh, and then, I think at noon, I have to leave to go. And it is currently 11.05, so I have a bit of time. And I'm not gonna let myself rush, like I usually do. Um, but I am gonna let myself be awfully backlit. Because one thing you're here for is bad quality. Lighting. I already knew it, I already knew it. That's why I'm providing it, free of charge. 
Uh, so I, ooh, I think what I am going to continue reading after we've had that little discussion is The Gilded Cage. You can see my little bookmark. I'm going to bring it with me. And I think today calls for a midday matcha because I'm kind of feeling like meh, you know? Oh, I might watch a reading vlog. I have some reading vlogs saved. I haven't really been watching a lot of booktube. I'm just going to be so honest. I watch a lot of reading stuff still, but the people that I watch read are people who predominantly do like lifestyle and then they talk about books, you know? And I don't really care what they're reading. I just find it exciting that people are excited about reading. The one booktube channel that I'm still currently watching is Katie is Reading. Love her. Love her so much. So I'll link her down below, but I am going to go watch, I think, her latest vlog. Actually, I think I have a few saved up because I started work again, so I was not keeping up. I love when past me gives future me presents. It's so nice. Uh-oh. Why is she staring at me like that? Do y'all see that? That's scary. Okay, hi! Oh. But I want, for the record, for the record, I didn't even go near her. All I did was walk past her food. Oh, which is full, by the way. Anyways, how are y'all doing? Um, we're gonna make a coffee. Hi! How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Um, I am gonna make a little decaf meal mint because I decided, first of all, I did get my little midday matcha. Coffee tastes better when you make it in a Starbucks cup. Maybe it's the microplastics, I don't know. I don't really care at this point. I just want it. So what we're gonna do is make a little white chocolate mocha toasted, no, it's a toasted white chocolate marshmallow mocha. So we've got our mocha. That's a lot of mocha. We're going to pour out a little bit of the mocha. <laughs> okay, pour out some mocha. Um, if you're trying to make this at home, one pump. That's all you need. And then this is the syrup that I use. It's from Monin. I get it all online. Don't use Amazon. They never send the right stuff. Use the actual direct website. It, that's what I recommend at least. And then I'm going to read Fourth Wing. Dang it. I was watching those reading vlogs I told y'all about and I was like, oh, I want to enjoy books. That's not to say that I'm, get out, not your shot. That's not to say I'm not enjoying the books I'm reading. They're just not what I want to be reading right now. And because I'm a mood reader, unfortunately that is a thing for me. You wanna say hi? Oh, you're not in the mood? I just thought since you're trying to attack me, maybe you wanted camera time. No ear time? Yeah, I'll send your manager a check for your appearance. So, we are going to make this little decaf latte and then we're gonna go grab fourth wing and we're gonna annotate it this time. I'm so excited. I'm gonna try, oh, Katie's vlogs are so, <laughs> what is this, am I throwing a fit? They're so aesthetically pleasing. I want to be her when I grow up. So, I'm gonna try and grow up today because I am ready and I wanna be like her. So I'm going to try to make it aesthetic, Olivia's version. It's probably not gonna be, it's probably gonna be very chaotic and bad angles, but I'm gonna try. Gosh, dang it. So let's do it.
Hello, is this angle, is this angle on? Why was I saying it like that? I think it's sliding. <laughs> I don't like this little tripod I have. I don't know what tripod all the girls are using, but my camera, I have a Canon EOS uh, M50, but, 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 if you would know all these terminologies, I just learned them today. Just kidding, I've, I've been trying to learn, but it's hard. It's hard, guys. Um, I have a big old lens. I will just try to take the lens off to show you. That won't work. <laughs> that won't work out. Uh, but I do. I have a really big lens on it. Bigger than I probably need, to be fair. But I like it. I think it looks really nice. And I've got that heavy mic. So it is what it is. I'm going to try to find a solution at some point in my life. So y'all saw we have the coffee made. We have the book gotten <laughs> and hopefully that was nice i'm gonna try i want to try to be an aesthetic b-roll girl i just have b-roll but i don't think it's that aesthetic um i'm using these colors for this not trying to flip you off sorry but the reason i'm using these is because on this copy of fourth wing i want to use colors that are going to match the dust jacket replacement that i got in the mail and that will do it best. I'm also going to actually have three copies of Fourth Wing because, yeah, I gave in to the hype of buying the unknown, unmarked, unnamed Fourth Wing that was on uh, Amazon. I don't know if it was anywhere else. I'll link it down below if you guys want to check it out. But it just doesn't have anything and everyone was speculating that it is just a different version of Fourth Wing. Spoiler, it is. Um, Rebecca Yaros came out and she said that it was. And it's beautiful. I'll put it up right here. Look at that. Oh, I love it. I love it so much. Um, I did actually surprisingly good with this. Uh, I, with fourth wing being what this is, I have not bought a bunch of special editions. I didn't even look at fairy loot because I got just the first run, got it from my little Barney's and nobody. <laughs> and then I got this edition from Amazon just the reprint without anything because I wanted to have one with tabs I don't like the way that tabs look on sprayed edges though personal preference there especially when they're like super pretty light colored ones it just I don't think looks that good um, because I don't want the tabs to be outdone by the sprayed edge but I also don't want to cover up the sprayed edge with tabs because it's so pretty you know so yeah I'm excited to have this one it'll have a new cover whenever that gets in it has shipped and it is in the states but I don't know where it is because I'm a ding dong and I didn't get track shipping because it was like an extra $13 I don't want to do that but I have that one also <laughs> ordered another one that is from a different company so I'm gonna have two dust jacket covers which is fine because I don't love I'm not sold on on this so I will put the lighter color scheme I think the colors are like yellow lilac cream that kind of thing I'll put that on this one that goes with the tabs and then on my edition that has the dragons on the edges I'm going to put the more dark toned one that I have as well. I don't know which one's coming first or what, but either way, I'll put both of those. And then on the special edition one, there's black sprayed edges and it's red. And I'm just going to leave that because I think that looks really pretty. And I like that idea a lot. And I think it goes better with Iron Flame. I'm excited about that too. So I did want to reread this so that I could be prepared for Iron Flame. I didn't want to read it too close to the release though because I just, I don't know. I don't want to get tired of it. Y'all know I don't really read a whole lot of series back to back. I always, almost always will have a book in between. The only one I didn't was the Natural series. I read all four of those like, but that's Jennifer Lynn Barnes and she just has a way with it, okay? She's just, she can do that. But I did read up to a whole cute little five pages when I was waiting for therapy. And now I'm going to kind of go explore and see what the other girls were tabbing for in this. I think I'm going to do one tab for dragons, another one for writing style, another one for like politics, world building, magic system, all of that. And then I'll have one for like, I'm literally screaming, hi, how are you? <laughs> and that'll be the pink one. And then the light pink one, I think I'll just put that as like, I have thoughts. Because I want to like, I've never done this before, but I just kind of want to write down like random thoughts that I'm having. And I always get 
self-conscious because I'm like, what if someone sees this? Girl, don't let them. What? <laughs> and if they do, that means I'm dead and I won't be embarrassed because I'm dead. So there's that. Uh, but I do want to update my planner before I do any of that. I need to actually put down all the stickers for it. I'm using this kit this week. It's like a vibe that's not focusing for some reason. Don't know why. Hello. So it's just these. I think it looks really pretty and I'm excited to use it. So I'm going to lay that down. I've really noticed I'm just using these weekly spreads in the Hobonichi to kind of keep track of what I do every day so that I can go back and do planning, like back planning in my Erin Condren planner, which is my memory keeping planner with all the stickers and stuff. I have not used that in a few weeks, which is fine because I don't use it on a day-to-day -day basis. It is a memory keeping planner, like I said, but I would like to use it more. You know, like just more frequently so that I don't have to continuously back plan a ton, but I just am not in the habit. And honestly, it's either this or that one. And I'm going to always prioritize journaling because it actually helps and makes a difference, I feel, in my day to day. So yeah, I'm going to update this. Look how beautiful this color looks with like the vibes, the vibes. So we're going to do that really quick and then... I think I'm going to get on a FaceTime call with my bestie and just hang out, see what's up. Maybe I'll read. Maybe I won't. Who knows? I did want to show you all my little annotation kit that I had. I made one because I was like, I want this in my life. So I will, of course, link it. I think I've showed it before, but this is the updated version. So in here, I have in tabs that are right here. It's the same color scheme, but for a different book. Then I have these pens. I really like these. They're what I use to write on like the cover page, not the cover page, the title page where I put all my annotation tabs for the key. I use those to write what means what, but I do not enjoy using them to write in the book because they're a little too thick. And then in here, I have a pen that I use for journaling really and I don't think I have oh I do have one so this is just an extra one but then I have all of my highlighters ooh, in here and these are just bible highlighters that I found on Amazon I didn't test them on a bible so I don't know if that's true but if they can go on a bible thin page I figure they probably won't bleed through these obviously that could be the case so you have to make sure but I'm very intense about keeping them in the order that I put them in because I swatched all of them and put them on this little page so I could know what color looks like what and this is just on a Hobonichi paper because that's very very um thin but then also very plain white looking so that way I would be able to tell like a little bit better of how they would look on the actual book page so that's just what I have in this little pouch and I just like it it's I think it's really cute and I like having one so that's why I made that and now I think we should get to it just get to it
Hi guys, hello. Happy Thursday. Oh my god. Friday Eve. Um, I just got home from work. Obviously. I'm at my house. And I did not update yesterday because I'm gonna be so honest. I don't even feel like it. But I did start reading Fourth Wing, which you did see within the b-roll. Um, I also ordered two little books. Uh, so I'm gonna show you those. But I... <sighs> I didn't really read a whole lot of fourth wing. I read like 50 pages and I'm annotating it and I'm having a good time with that. And I'm just getting excited for Iron Flame. I think that I am getting not in a reading slump, but a new book slump. So like, I'm not wanting to read anything new. Like I kind of want to be in a world I've already been in before. And so I was thinking, okay, I'll either continue on my reread of Throne of Glass and start Queen of Shadows again. <laughs> or I could go back into another series I've already started, or I could reread Fourth Wing and get ready for the next one. And I think that's what I'm going to stick to because I am really liking it. I think it's enough time because I read it a little bit earlier because for whatever reason they sent me an arc, I don't know. And the, could you imagine if I get an Iron Flame arc? I wouldn't even know what to do with myself. But I read it like in... March-ish, I think. Maybe April? Or no, maybe February? <laughs> I went the wrong way. Somewhere early in the year I read it and I really, really liked it, but I think it's enough time that I am in between that. I don't remember exactly how everything went. I know big plot points, but I don't remember everything, so it's kind of like the perfect time to reread it. So I am enjoying that. And I think that's all really to update. Today was like a PD day, which if you're a teacher, you know, it's just professional development, like just training for like the different systems being used, the state testing training, all that good stuff was today. So I am very much uh, ready to like do something with my brain <laughs> that isn't that and just read a little booky book. So I'm very excited. Uh, I don't know if there's any sprints or anything because I kind of want to watch some and help that motivate me. But I also just want to read and like just put music on and escape to my mind palace. <laughs> so I might do that. But first, we have a little unboxing because I like to experience joy and I love the covers of these. So I thought, why not? I'm not gonna lie, these are way thinner than I thought they would be. Although I do, yeah, I guess that makes sense because the font is smaller than I think I'm used to, at least in romantical books. But I bought the right move. Um, I DNF'd the first book. Wasn't loving it, but a lot of y'all said that the second book is way better. So there's that. And then I think this one's actually baseball and it's single dad, which is a trope that I really like. Yeah, so this one is baseball and the single parent trope, which oh, I really like. And this is like the newest one that just came out. And I love this. Like these covers are just beautimous. Oh my God. My best friend actually read at least this one and the first one. I should ask her. I should have asked her before I bought it. I already bought it. But I do, I really do like these covers and the spines. They're very pretty. And Lord knows they're probably going to get snatched up by a publisher anytime. So I want to get these versions because I just like them better. I don't know why, but I do. Maybe it's because there's not like a publishing house at the bottom or something. It's just like a clean look. Like there's nothing interrupting it. I don't know. I don't know, I really don't know. Uh, but I just felt like actually being able to read it physically. But you know what's weird? So you can see on this one, the black, which is the chapter titles. Why? Like there's so many and then boom, like none. What the heck? Let's investigate further, lads. Maybe it's just not as, um. oh, you can definitely see it at the top. Like you can see those super easy. So I think it just didn't print there. Interesting. But anyways, these are the two that I decided to order. And hopefully I like them. Because, you know, I liked the writing style. 
I just was like, this is such a long book. And I know that s some of y'all said to listen to it on audio, but I don't listen to romances on the audio book. But I think I'm gonna listen to a historical. I think, yeah, th I think it's the governess game. One of the romance girlies I follow was reading it or listening to it, whichever. And I think that I'm gonna try out historical because I have done a Tessa Dare before and I liked it. But I think historical romance is the only one that I could probably listen to on audio because I like the accents. There's that. I'm trying to think if there's anything else really to catch you up on. Yesterday, truly, I was just, I had a little migraine at school because it was cloudy, a little stormy, but it didn't rain. That's the one that my head hates the most is when it is stormy, but doesn't actually ever rain. And so the pressure just stays. Not my favorite. Um... Uh, but I'm going to do a little bit of sponsor stuff, behind the scenes things, and get that done so that I can edit it and get it sent off and not worry about it right now. And yeah, so that's the plan. So I'm gonna go do that really quick and then I will check in probably tomorrow, you guys. But we're gonna make we, my partner, is going to make one of the HelloFresh meals. And it's one of the pasta ones, which I always love. So, you'll get the inside scoop. Yes. Oh, I was going to read Fourth Wing tonight, but I have to catch up on American Horror Story. Here we go. There we go. Okay, the hair's up. Um, That's fine. So, I had to organize all of my schedule i guess like my posting schedule and align it with that of my um manager so <sighs> that's all i had to take care of i thought i needed to film some stuff today Owie. but i don't i actually can do it this weekend which is great love that and i realized my fall refresh and reset is not gonna go out this sunday so for y'all the one that just passed it's gonna go out next sunday which is the one for y'all that is coming up. Oh my God. Okay, so um, I'm excited about that because I can tell you now that it's coming this Sunday and I'm telling you because it's gonna be a like, be productive with me, get my life together vlog, but I also threw in my wrap up from last night, last night, what? Last month into it in case you want to watch it. That's how I'm gonna do it from now on. I'm gonna do uh, my October TBR jar video, which includes like organizing my shelves, grabbing the prompts, grabbing the books, talking about it, all those things. And then on the other video, I'm going to do the fall refresh and reset or not fall, but you know, whatever that month is and have that be kind of like a behind the scenes productivity thing, just a errands filled kind of thing. I'll put in my wrap up from the month before some goals I have for that month those kind of things. And I think that'll be a nice little plan, at least for this last quarter of the year. We'll just see how that goes. But I do have two things. So I just finished packing up um, one of my best friends. They There's one is an October. So a Scorpio, my faves. And then another is in uh, November, a Sagittarius, another fave. So I put together like a little box of just things that I thought that they would like and I'm going to mail it to him and I'm excited. So I just finished putting that together. So I need, I should have done that in the freaking productivity blog. Part of that, I ordered a t-shirt from my website and then I found a t-shirt I wanted. So turned into a present for me. And I also got some notebooks for, y'all remember how I said I wanted to start doing book reviews better? That's what it's for. So I don't really know what my plan is with them because y'all know I have that other notebook I showed in last week's vlog where I do like a bookshelf overview that has, oh my, oh my dear, that has um, the books on the bookshelf are color coordinated to show if I read it physically, if I read it um, via like audiobook or if I read it with an ebook and so I have that and I like that and then inside I'm doing just very short little overviews of books because I have like 
basically in it just the title, the days I read it, the format, and the page count. And then I do have a section for thoughts and whatnot to just write in the most important, like a little review blurb for myself. But it's not super in depth because honestly, realistically looking back on that, am I gonna want super in depth thoughts? I don't know. I might, which is why I bought these. These are all from May Designs and I'll link the website down below but it's just like one of their soft notebooks and I bought four of them each in a different pattern and I just think that they're really cute and they all kind of go together and I just wanted to have like a little notebook where I write down like active reading thoughts and whatnot so that's what these are and I like it I think it's cute I'm still gonna try to make it like cute aesthetic or whatever inside it's dot grid which is nice but it's pretty much going to be just one page per book that I'm reading except I'm probably see this is the problem if I put any books in here I want to put every book in here that I read but that's not really necessary for let's say I continue I am continuing on with the misfortune series by Jana de Leon I don't really need to write in thoughts of every single book in that series first of all there's 23 right now and it's cozy mysteries so like also with the ice cream parlor mystery, I don't really have a whole lot of different thoughts than I did within the first book of that series because now it's like, yeah, I just love these characters. Obviously I do because I'm continuing on with it. Just a different mystery to be solved and all of that. Like it's just, I don't know if it warrants an entire page in here. So I'm probably gonna like lurk around and see what people are doing on the Instagram and just kind of grab some inspiration of like what they take notes on from there and I think that that will help me develop like what I really want to keep track of too and then I want to show you the shirt that I got because I think it's freaking hilarious. Even baddies get saddies. Is that not amazing? Like are you, are you kidding? This is beautiful. I love this. So this is the new shirt that I'll be living in on the weekends. Probably can't wear this to work. <laughs> Don't know why though. I think self-expression is very important. <laughs> so yeah, that's actually all that I have to show you guys now. Uh, and now let's go focus on dinner and I'm gonna go get unready and get some comfy clothes on. I don't know what the temperature is supposed to be tonight. Actually, let's check that out first. Cause I kind of want to wear a matching set, but I don't really have any matching sets that aren't hot. Ooh, it's gonna be 70s all night. No. So never mind on that. Scratch that plan. Let's just go get dressed. I made an old man. I said, tell me your story. Hello guys, happy Friday. <sighs> Thank God. Okay, so I have a package and there is something, I'm off screen right now, but just listen. There are two very exciting things that have me gathered here today. The first one is hopeless ah, by Elsie Silver. I am so excited about this book. I, I really can't wait. Uh, I, I don't know. I don't really know. I don't really know. I don't know which one I'm gonna read. I'm gonna try to keep going with Fourth Wing. I'm like into it. But since it's not my first time reading it, I'm not as into it. I honestly hate to say it, but I don't know if Fourth Wing is one of those books that I'm gonna want to like reread a lot. Akatar is one of those I do not want to reread a lot. I do love rereading Thorn and Glass. I love it so much. That's, that series is so good. Crescent City, I haven't reread the second one, so I don't know about that. 
but I kind of want something new too. I don't know, I don't know, I really don't know. But then, this thing is exciting for me, not for Jake. But we got this thing that attaches to our uh, hose outside so that we can give him a cute little bath this weekend because, hello. Dear God, he needs it. He is a stink. So we'll be doing that and that will be exciting. Ooh, it comes with like a glove that you can use whilst you wash him. That's actually, that's actually cool. That's actually cool. So have that, yay, yay. Now, it's Friday the 13th baby and that's exciting to me oh my god is it my hair oh no that's the plant uh because hello duh yeah my favorite horror channel the horror bandwagon is doing a live stream today playing a friday the 13th game love that so i am going to watch that i also i did end up ordering a pair of the Abercrombie jeans in two sizes smaller and then three sizes smaller to see which one I need because I cannot tell. And thank you, Ginger. So we're gonna see how that goes. But I also found a cute matching set from them. So I accidentally added that to my cart and hit checkout. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want a bath? No, you want more food? I'm gonna keep all this in here. You have anything to say to the people? No? You just, do you wanna just stay up here? So I'm gonna watch that live stream and I'm gonna read a book. I don't know if I'm gonna continue to read Fourth Wing. I'm feeling very book hoppy right now. I also kind of want to read uh, Dark Age by Pierce Brown. I did score my copies of Iron Gold and Dark Age from Very Loot to match my set. So I'm very excited about that. So those will be here. And then I'll have that match and set. Ginger pet. Okay. Okay, she just used my leg as a scratching post. Love that. I'm going to go change and try to decide what I'm in the mood to read. I'm so in the mood to read, I just can't focus on one book long enough to really get into it. Do y'all ever have that? It's a problem. I'm annoyed. Like, I feel like I am not really in the mood for a romance, but they're the easiest to read, and I am excited about this book, but I'm not really in the mood for it. Do you know? And so I want to read a fantasy, but it's more like I wanna read a fantasy, like I said earlier this week, where I already know the world and the characters. I don't really wanna to have to get back into it, which is why I kind of wanna stay with Fourth Wing. But I don't know. I'm not gonna lie, my reread of Fourth Wing is not going as well as my first read did. So I'm thinking I may not keep rereading it because I don't wanna ruin <laughs> the first read. Because there are just some books that I love to reread and some that I do not. <gasps> I'm getting a phone call. Where's my phone? Hello guys. So we are now post, I almost said pre, it's not true. Post dinner oh, for everybody involved. Jake is happily panting right behind the camera. Ginger has actually just joined in on the party. And I decided what I was gonna do with the fourth wing read is I'm not quite far enough out from uh, my first read of it, turns out, to really need a reread as much because, oh, hello, everything that was happening, I definitely remembered. I remembered it all. So it was kind of like just feeling repetitive and not fun because it wasn't, it's not even like I'm far enough out that I was really viewing it differently either if that makes sense like I wasn't having new thoughts on it so what I decided to do is I moved over all of my tabs from my ARC edition that I got sent I still don't know how does 
anyone know how? Anyways, I did. And I decided that I would move those over and just read the parts and few pages where those were tabbed a lot. And honestly, doing that, revising almost, I used to do that for school, was so helpful. Like, that actually was enough. And then I would read, I used the yellow tab a lot for plot twists and stuff. And so I just read those a lot. And man, that really clued me in on where we're going. And then I just read the last... 10 chapters or so and is it 10? I don't remember the exact number somewhere five to ten chapters and called it good so that was my reread edition of fourth wing um I do highly recommend it if somehow you have missed the sweeping media regarding fourth wing it is about a girl who is the daughter of the general of this army that utilizes dragons within it and there's a school that you can go to where you can sign up to be a healer, a scribe, infantry, or a rider. Her mom wants her to be a part of like what her family is a part of and all of that, whereas she wants to be a scribe. She ends up being forced to go into the rider's school, which is very dangerous, obviously. Riding dragons is probably not going to be like silly, goofy fun. And there's just her story. And I really like it. Um, I have no idea where this series is going to go, though, to be honest, because I do feel like, I feel like this could be a duology. I'm going to say, I have no idea how this is going to be a five-book series. Not a clue. That's what it's slotted to be, apparently. I also, on a sidebar, I think YA needs to re-embrace duologies once more. I just do. I think that they are great. I think that forcibly extending your book into a trilogy, because for some reason... The marketing thinks that does better, but to be honest, I see most people stop reading after the second book. I don't ever really see a whole lot of hype about a conclusion anymore. Let's let's bring back duologies, guys. How about that? To all I know I know the big five are watching, so yeah. Take my marketing advice. Now, I'm gonna try to read some of this while I watch my little live stream and we'll see where we get. I'm in the mood for a thriller, I'm in the mood for mess, mayhem, the like. So I'm going to try this one out, and I'll report back to you. Um, talking about Throne of Glass and Akatar kind of put me back in that mood, and I kind of do want to pick up Queen of Shadows. It keeps looking at me, y'all. I'm talking direct eye contact. It's right there. It's staring at me again. Uh, but I made a little decaf latte with what's probably becoming my favorite cup that I have. I will try to find this shop again to link it down below, but I'll be honest, y'all, I, I cannot find it in my emails. I don't know why. So I will try. If it's not in the description, it's because I could not find it. Um, but I, I will attempt that. But let me stop talking. Let me go get some reading. I'm excited. Oh, not excited. I have to go get so many levels checked tomorrow. Like, just the round for the year. You know, you go to your doctor and you get your annual blood test done. I have to get that done. And then I have to get a couple more levels checked. And I just... Mm, when it's just one, I can get it because it's just one vial. But when they have to replace the vials and do more... <gasps> I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. But I did take my nails off in preparation so I can make that fist. Make that bang pop. Because the last time, it didn't feel nice. It didn't feel nice at all. Not at all. Oh, that was a scary face. <laughs> What are you whining about? What are you whining about? What's wrong, laddie? Ew. And then of course I have my Forever Mood candle burning in the background. It's from the July subscription box. And it's super nice. And I love it. There's the pretty kitty. Hello, Ramona. I reached 
Watch through mysterious ceilings My only hope I look for the things I don't know Show me where the ending goes Honest, honestly don't I should be the last to know We're all in this I stand alone Show me where the ending goes Hello you guys! Happy Saturday! Checking in later in the day, like I think it's about to be two o'clock. Um, this morning we went and got my blood drawn and you saw everything! Went to brunch, went to um, what is that called? World Market. And World Market had some really cute Christmas stuff. So yes, we did start to buy those things. Um, I start celebrating Halloween time in August. So honestly, by the time Halloween's around, I'm like, okay, come on, November 1st, it's on. So it's kind of where I'm at. I bought, I haven't had really Christmas decor for my shelves before that I really liked, but I found some there that I really, really like. And I decided I'm gonna film that World Market haul and then save it for the first vlog in November because like whichever one goes up the first of November, I'll put it there because more fitting. Like I'm not fully in that mood, but I'm starting to look at that mood, you know what I mean? So I'm pulling out my little boots because uh, once it hits past 70 degrees, 65 degrees and lower, these go on forever and they're not coming off till next April. And maybe honestly with some of the random freezes we have, May. <laughs> but that is just self-love. Uh, we are about to go to the library. I have some books to return and then I think we might stop by Starbucks before that and get some decaf. Ow. Americanos and maybe sit at the library and read. Not really sure. I don't have plans for the rest of the day other than reading and last night, oh, <laughs> fourth wing's done, by the way. Went ahead, finished that. Can't remember what, how I updated you, but that one I did do last night and I moved on to a thriller-ish book here and I read the first four pages, no, not four pages, four chapters and I'm really liking it. Her writing is very intense. The word visceral keeps coming up. I don't think it's, but some of the, way that she says things and what she says, I go, Ooh, like I have a visceral reaction. So maybe that's what I mean. I'm not really sure, but I, I like it. It's very blunt and very raw and just like, ew, girl, what? And uh, I found myself liking that. I do like this cover a lot. Hopefully this will be like an all time fave so I can buy it, but not sure about the yet. And yeah, we're gonna go return some books, pick up some books. My hold, once again, of Dark Age is back in my little grubby hands, and I actually think I want to read that. It sounds really good. I think I'm struggling with sci- or fantasy books because I actually want to read a sci-fi. So, that might be in the cards for me. Might do that. I'm picking that up, and then I think Black Buck is there as well because I wanted to pick that up. I've just been kind of craving it's that and then under the influence of the two books i was like i want to read these i just do i just do for some reason i'm really reading a lot of literary fiction right now i think those would classify as literary fiction i and i don't know why that's not really my thing but also literary fiction is so broad of a genre though i feel like i'm also guilty of just kind of saying it's like literary fiction I think of like a little life, it being sad, and I'm like, ew. And while that is part of it for sure, there's also other parts like lessons in chemistry, but maybe that's just fiction. Cause why is there also just a broad term of just fiction? Cause like the way we teach it in school, it's like fiction and nonfiction, and then there's branches off of it. But it, you know what it doesn't? <laughs> matter because I'm gonna go pick those books up anyways and we're going to read them and I'm excited about it. So let's go have a nice little weekend and then tomorrow the HelloFresh gets here but I am gonna go see the Eras tour movie with one of my best friends so we're gonna do that early in the morning. I get the earliest tickets we could and I have seen some theaters on social media that are like screaming the words and I just hope mine does not look like that. 10 a.m. on the Lord's day of all days. But I am gonna have popcorn at 10 a.m., which is, I don't know. I don't know how my stomach's gonna feel about that, but we'll learn together. Now let's go to the library, guys. Honestly, don't. I should be the last to know.
Okay, hello. I know I look the exact same, but I promise we just got home from the library and I have a bunch of books and I had two that I had on pickup that I told you about, but then I went ahead and got mm, four more because I wanted to, no, three more because I wanted to and I'm in the mood for YA a lot right now. So what I think is gonna happen is I think I'm in the mood to read some lit fic and then a sci-fi that's gonna like ruin my day, the lit fic, and then just YA fantasy. And I'm back in my dystopian. Like I want more dystopian stuff. So I wanna continue on with the Shatter Me series. This is the one obviously that I'm on. And yeah, I do own these. But I like reading, I think I'm the only person because everyone always says I like reading paperbacks better. And I go back and forth because I have said before I prefer paperbacks, but that's not true. I prefer certain paperbacks. Y'all know like epic fantasy, adult epic fantasy that is so floppy like it stays open by itself? Those paperbacks? Yes. The Wheel of Time, John Gwain books, Brando Sando books great. Those all do it. Majority of them are not like that though, because I guess maybe it's more expensive to do it that way. I don't really know what the reason is, but most paperbacks aren't like that. And I don't like fighting for my life to hold it open. All hardcovers stay open though. So I like that. So that's why I got this. And then I also picked up these infinite threads, which is the sequel to this woven kingdom, which I read. Did I read that earlier this year or late last year? I can't recall, but I loved it. It was five freaking stars. If you love Stephanie Garber fantasy, but you want more of a lush fantasy world, like I feel like Stephanie Garber is very low fantasy and the fact that kind of like a fairy tale, it's real world, but make it whimsical. This is fantasy land made whimsical. Like ugh, Tahata Mafi's writing is just, it's, it's amazing to me actually to see how different it is in both of these genres or subgenres, I suppose, where when dystopian, her writing fits so, it blends so well with the type of book it is. But then in fantasy, she switches and it just, it just fits so well. So I'm excited to try these two. And then I also got Defy the Night because I really enjoyed the first book in her other series. I can't recall what that one is. A Curse So Dark and Lonely. I loved the first book. I attempted A Heart So Fierce and Broken and I just couldn't get into it. Like I just did not care really. And it just felt so different. So I kind of just treated that first book like a standalone and just really enjoyed it. It was fun. I never moved on with it. And now I've heard that this one is like so good. If you happen to not like that series, you might like this. So that's what we're gonna try and do. And then last blog, I got some comments on this and I don't think I can link this, but I got this tote bag just from Barnes. It was, you know how they have at the front section, they have a bunch of like different tote bags you can choose from. This was just one of them. And it is by the brand Out of Print, which I do get a lot of um, bookish and English teacher shirts from there. So perhaps it's on the website, but I don't know. But I wanna sit down and I think I'm gonna continue on with the whispers for this evening, but I'm gonna light a little candle. Uh, and this is the one I've chosen. What a twist by Miss V Novelwick. And I love it. And it's blood orange. If you have smelled the, what is his name? Cassian candle, I believe it is. That's my heart partner's favorite one. This is the same scent. I love that she does that by the way, because if you want like a different aesthetic, if you want to put it on your shelves, but you like the scent, you can just like pick from it. I think that's great, but I don't have a horror one right now and I'm not willing to burn. I call this like my special edition candle cause it is, and it's like my own version of horror. And I, it's a prized possession. Mark me if you're watching this. I don't let anyone touch it. I just sniff it sometimes. Like I do that with books too. Anyone else? So I'm going to catch up on some shows that I've missed. A-H-A-S, A-H-S, A-H-S, yes, being one of those. And then I'm going to, we did stop by Starbucks, got a little decaf Americana with pumpkin and oat milk. And then I did get a pumpkin cream cheese muffin because I was a brave, brave person for getting my blood drawn. So <laughs> I did that. I'm gonna go organize it on the shelf and then let's get to a reading. Cause I, 
Every time I go to the library and I browse for books, I get so in a reading mood, it's like not even funny. I highly, highly, if you have the ability to just check out your library, if you have one near you, whatnot, I so recommend it because you really get the same feeling of going to the bookstore, but you're not paying any money, you're supporting your local library. And also, for me, the more I really read the books that I own and realize, wow, I have a lot of books that I did not need to buy and I could have just like loaned from the library instead. It makes me glad that I don't have to keep these forever. Do you know what I mean? Like I can return them and if I loved them enough, if I keep thinking about them after I return them, I'll typically go buy a copy for myself. I don't have to have so many, so many books to unhaul later on. That's just what I get for buying into consumerism <laughs> within the community, isn't it? Yes, it is. But that's all right. You win, you lose, and you learn. Um, let's go. Let's go watch scary shows, guys. Actually, I think I'm gonna keep this one because I just love it so much, y'all. I was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations, oh. Cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting. But then you came along and proved me all wrong. I was so mistaken. Cause you glue all the pieces back together. Good morning from me and Jake. <gasps> Jake! Here, let me move this blanket. Join us. Okay, so let's move my bookmark to the spot where I got to last night. I am ready for, what's it called? You know, Taylor Swift's thing today. Um, I got to chapter 12, page 77, and it's good. It's great even. I'm really liking it. Um, also, hey, I got my results back already from my blood test yesterday. That's kind of crazy. And I was just looking through them. And I'm here to brag um, that my blood tests went well. Uh, for the most part, I think. The ones that I've checked, they did. And I did not expect that because I feel like there's always something up. Always something up. So it's great that, you know, that happened. I, what else? What else was I gonna say? Jake, do you remember? I don't remember either. So anyways, I got dressed this morning and now I'm waiting for my friend to be ready as well. And we're gonna go grab food beforehand. I'm mainly here for the coffee. I, I need it, I need to wake up. I did not sleep that great last night. I don't really know why, just didn't. Like I went to bed early and I woke up at like 7.45. So in theory, I should have slept well. I Did I wear my Apple Watch? I think I did. Yeah, allegedly I slept for eight hours and uh, 27 minutes. But let me tell you, I was awake during that for an hour and four and I feel it now. So hopefully I will sleep better tonight. Although I did take a little uh, nap yesterday. So that's probably why I noticed that. I've been trying not to nap, but I was like, girl getting that blood drain to get out of me. So anyways, uh, this book is a mess, y'all. I really like it. It's just like this drama. It's this little sh um, strip of a street. There are three women we're following and another one who's not really part of the group, but she's a part of the neighborhood. And we're getting her outside point of view because she is inside the neighborhood. So she knows what's good and what's going on, but she doesn't know each of the women as intimately as like they know each other. And it's just a very interesting little tale of what's going on. I'm trying to decide. I want to not spoil anything, obviously. Okay, so it does say it in the synopsis. So they're at a garden party, and then one of the moms is like yelling at her kid. The window's open, so everyone hears it, and it's like, ooh. And I think I've said this already before. It's like nine months later, the kid falls out the window, and it is now in the hospital. And they're like, what? And one of the women works at the hospital, and she's like, what? And so obviously it's a little suspicious and we're just finding out some drama between them all. And I'm really liking it. I like the writing style. 
Um, it's, it's still pretty intense. It's very readable though, but sometimes the way she'll say things, I have to go back and read that again and be like, actually, uh, oh my God. But other than that, it's a good little time. And yeah, that's really it. That's really all I've got for you, babe. So I'm going to go and I'll see you guys at brunch. Okay. So it's a little bit of an angle change. Ooh, uh, I kind of like it though. You're sitting on the hand that holds my um, uh, AirPods. So obviously it's not doing that right now. It's holding you. Just cupping you very gently in its palm while you talk to me. Just like this. <laughs> um, hi, how are you? I am now obviously home from the Eras tour showing. And what is my computer doing? Let's try to export that video. <laughs> so I just finished editing this week's vlog and I am exporting the rough draft edit so that I can send it off to the sponsor. Um, they don't have to like have all the B-roll music and stuff, you know, looking cute and looking good. So I'm just sending them that and then tomorrow I will watch it during my lunch. It's an hour and 14 minutes, then whatever I add on here. So, you know, it's a nice long little vlog. The Eras Tour movie video thing was fun, but I'm not gonna lie, that was too long. I, I don't think, I think I'm more of a casual Swifty. So I like the tunes, but I'm also just not a concert person. Uh, I think the only people I'd wanna see in concert is probably U2 or Lumineers. Like those are just the ones for me. But other than that, I'm just not really a concert person because it's all flashing lights and it's loud and I hate both those things. And it's crowded. It's another. It's a third runner-up for things I don't enjoy. So I think it was fun to see it that way and to go to brunch with my friend. And it was just nice to like get out of the house and kind of have like a brain break from thinking about either job. <laughs> but with this... So normally what I would do today is I would watch through the entire vlog. So what I do, if you're interested, is I, I'm always interested in what other creators do. That's why I'm saying this, but I put all of the clips into Final Cut Pro. That's what I use to edit. And then I splice it up. I look for on the volume portion where I'm taking a breath, where I'm saying, um, once you've been editing yourself for so long, you can tell what those look like in the volume spikes. So I was doing that. And then I put the B-roll, splice it up so that it looks nice, which I don't need the sound for any of this. So I today was listening to a jazz ambiance room because I am not feeling great mentally. <laughs> so it was calming me down while editing. And it was just very nice to do that. Now, normally I would do all of that and then I would now sit back, create the thumbnail and uh, watch through the whole thing to make sure all the B-roll looks good, all the music sounds right, the volumes are adjusted appropriately and everything that I'm saying like makes sense as much as I ever make sense, you know? And I know that that, I know I used to not feel like I had to watch it back twice. Um, I'm now developing more of a control freak portion in that, I guess. And so I do tend to do that. And by tend to do it, I mean every time. And then I would have it exported and done, good to go, signed, sealed, delivered by like 5 p.m. today. And I'd put it up on Patreon for extra or early access. But I am not feeling good at all. Like, not in the least. I don't know what happened towards the end of the era's movie thing. But I just like... I'm feeling so anxious. I'm feeling so overwhelmed. So just like, 
and it's about nothing, so my brain's filling in the blanks, which is always worse. Whatever my brain can come up with, I love that the clouds are going right over us as I'm saying this. <laughs> That's symbolic, but whatever my brain can come up with is going to always be worse than what is reality. That's just how this noggin works, and uh, it's bad. It's not good. What is that? Oh my god, we're already at four minutes. Good lord. Um, but yeah, it's real bad. <laughs> It's, it's real bad champ. So I'm not loving it. I'm not living laughing and loving right now. I'm So I'm not going to watch um, through the video and early access will go up tomorrow instead So I'm gonna go post over there and let everyone know like hey I'm still mentally ill and it's showing up today. So Here's a picture of all of the crew aka Jake and Ginger Annabeth has officially brumated, which is the reptilian hibernation, and um, we will not see her until probably like late March, April, maybe May. She's a she's a snoozer, so who knows? Um, I'm sad though because I miss her already. <laughs> see her go away, and I'm like, I wish. I Can I do that? <laughs> so yeah, all that to say, I am gonna now go and. Drink a lot of water, post what I gotta post, I'm gonna change, I'm gonna shower, I'm gonna do all those things, and then I'm just gonna like sit in bed with my little book, and I think that'll just be the night for me. I wish that I didn't have these things, because they're so freaking annoying, and I cannot really predict them. Although, I do think I'm supposed to start my cycle soon, so that's probably why this is happening. It's like just some good old-fashioned paranoid period time, um, but what if it's not? <laughs> literally the paranoia talking but what but what if uh, I saw this reel uh that was like <laughs> having anxiety is so embarrassing imagine freaking out about like things that could happen <laughs> and I was like honestly would you phrase it that way humbling uh because yeah I that yeah that's what I'm doing all day all the time by the way I got this sweater this is random because I'm just I I'm done thinking about this. Hey, so I got this sweater. Okay. Okay. After <laughs> rudely interrupted by the HelloFresh delivery and how dare Jake just take a breath for a moment. Anyways, important things. I was talking about this sweater. It's really cute. I got it because of Haley, <laughs> influencer of the year in my heart. Okay. Because I am buying so many clothes from Abercrombie that I usually wouldn't, but I was like, that's really cute, and I got it, and y'all, I'm obsessed. I love these sleeves. Like, they look so cute. It's so warm. It's perfect. It's perfect for this, the, the winter we get here, right before, like, January hits, and then it's actually really cold. But until December, I'm good to wear, and I'm so happy. I love this so much. It's so comfortable. And I did get sad, <laughs> hey, and I ordered... Some other stuff that I'll haul for y'all when it gets here. But the battery is flashing. So I wanted to tell you in person, instead of a quiet outro, uh, make sure you drink your water. Be kind to yourself. You know, take some time off if you need to of, of whatever you can. And read a good little book. Have a good little time. And this to you from me, Jake, and Ginger. And Annabeth, if she was here, she would say it as well. And uh, yeah, have a good day on purpose. And I'll see you hopefully next week. Okay? And see the sun Side by side our fears are done